Welcome to our set online. I'm Dr. Asha Vishwanath, Department of Civil Engineering, and this is the second part of EST 100 Dynamics. Now, in this part, we will be looking at kinetics, the second part of uh, the forces. Now, kinematics we already referred to in the first uh, uh, video. We said at that time that kinetics is the effect of forces acting on the body. Now, when we study the forces and uh, what are the forces acting on the body using a free body diagram and what are the causes of the force uh, acting on the body, we call it kinetics. Now, when force is involved, we bring in the Newton's second law, which states that any force acting on a body is directly proportional to the rate of change of momentum of the body. Now, that can be written out as F is directly proportional to d by dt of mv, where ma m is the mass of the body and velocity, the uh, velocity created uh, on the body. Now, by that, putting it into the taking the rate of change into the equation, we find it becomes mass into dv by dt, which is simply acceleration. So, in effect, force is directly proportional to mass into acceleration in the direction of the force. Now, this uh, equation is now brought down to F is equal to MV with putting the constant of proportionality as 1 and choosing the unit of force in such a way. Now, this uh, effectively means that when there is a force, all forces acting on a body are together having a net force on it. Now, the resultant or the net force of all the uh, forces acting on the body will be equal to M. Now, as you can see in the figure, a body at rest acted upon by its weight and its reaction and the friction is simply given a force which makes it to accelerate. Now, when we consider the equilibrium of such a uh, case, we come to the principle of D. Alberts. Now, D. Alberts principle took this uh, uh, equation of F equal to MA or the Newton's second law and he restated it in a different way saying that when forces act on the body, we can say that it resists the motion. Any object tries to be in the state of rest or in the state of its constant uh, motion that which is stated by the Newton's first law. So we can say that any body uh, resists the motion by virtue of its mass and this force can be referred to as inertia, as an inertial force. Now this Ma on the right hand side of the equation can be considered as such an inertia force and it can be rewritten in the form F is equal to Ma is rewritten as F plus minus Ma is equal to zero making it look as if a static case in which the net force acting on a body is equal to zero in the case of static equilibrium as we have seen. So, converting a dynamic problem into a static problem by, con con uh, by considering this minus Ma as an inertia force which resists the force, uh, total uh, resultant force is called the uh, D. Alberts principle. What it states is that the body is in a dynamic equilibrium with the, all the forces acting on the body is in dynamic equilibrium with its inertia force. And that is expressed in such a form F plus minus Ma is equal to zero. Now we can apply this uh, um, force, uh, this uh, method and solve problems as we have done before uh, using the free body diagram. First drawing out all the forces that act on the body and equating the uh, forces in both the x direction and the y direction and solving the uh, problems.